Today we're going to read for our Cupcake Day read aloud, Camilla the Cupcake Fairy. Now look at these awesome sequins I have to show you before we start. They're two-way sequins. We've got kind of like a silvery disco ball look. And then we also got shimmery white. Oh, I love this book. All right, you ready? Let's get started. On Camilla's fifth birthday, the Pink Fairy Post sent to Camilla what she dreamed of most. Not a hat or a doll or a plant in a pot or anything else she'd already got. Everyone's gonna be in there. She tore off the paper and giggled with glee. A wand, cried Camilla, and meant just for me. It was so very shiny and sparkly and new. Her very first wand, but what would it do? I see her name on her wand. It must be hers. If she waved it carefully and closed her eyes tight, she could wish for a party with dancing all night. Or if she sat nicely, not making a noise, would it make her bed neatly and put away toys? Or would it put on a show with a dancing dog, cartwheeling cats, and a singing frog? But what it would make, Camilla was told, was frosting for cake. So she found a plain cupcake, which she placed by her feet. Her wand at the ready to make a pink treat. And holding the wand, Camilla stood straight. She took a deep breath, but just could not wait. See what she does with that plain cupcake. She waved it so fast the wand would not stop whirling and twirling and flashing on top. It jumped and it jerked with a rattle and a shake. It jiggled and it juttered till she thought it would break. She must have gone crazy. Then with a bang, bright stars filled the air. She looked for sweet frosting, but the cupcake was bare. And there on the top, not making a sound, was a tiny white mouse with eyes bright and round. She looks a little shocked, right? With her face. <gasps> so she started again to wave the wand gently, but look what was there. Covering the cake where the frosting should be, mashed potato was all she could see. Have you ever had a cupcake with mashed potatoes on it? I don't think so. So she tried one more wave, not too fast or too slow. Now topping the cake, there was nothing but snow. Well, snowballs and snowmen, she didn't much mind, but this fancy frosting was just the wrong kind. Hmm, what are you gonna put on it? Oh dear, thought Camilla, this just isn't right. My wand is not working. I'll be here all night. But then when it seemed she was down on her luck, Miss Sprinkles drove by in her pink fairy truck. Camilla asked nicely, what should I do? 
Her teacher said kindly, I'll give you a clue. Working alone is never much fun, but with help from your friends, the job is soon done. So she called her friends on her pink fairy phone. Molly and Maya were glad to be home. Send Molly to Maya, our friends in a state. Let's fly to Camilla, this problem won't wait. They held the wand steady with eyes closed tight. As they worked hard together, it stoned a bright light. Then, crossing their fingers in a shower of gold twinkles, they all wished together for frosting with sprinkles. Think they're gonna get it? I hope so. Let's see. Oh, I see one. All of a sudden, the fairy friends found the tastiest treat just there on the ground. With sparkling sprinkles and frosting so sweet, the best cupcake ever was right at their feet. Look at that cupcake. It's huge. So the wand could work wonders, but nothing compared to the gift of true friendship the three fairies shared. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the Camilla Cupcake Fairy. It's so true that a magic wand can never give us the friendships that we've earned in class or the friendships that you've made with me. I absolutely could not wish for anything more than for you guys to be a member of my class. And I was very lucky to have all of you. I hope you enjoyed our cupcake book and I hope you enjoy your cupcake.